Cool. All right, guys. So my name is Jeff Mormon. I'm a product manager on our drilling and driving team. Uh, and I'm really excited to kind of talk to you guys today about the next two uh, solutions in the carbon tree and remodeling section. So at this point, you guys have seen a lot about eight different tools that are de developing those solutions from frame to finish. And I might be a little bit biased, but I think it's really a nice place to end here on the drilling and driving because each one of your guys' viewers, each one of our users are using drills and impacts today. We're going to bring a couple new solutions to that uh, site, uh, and I'm going to take you through both of those today. So, uh, the important thing to talk about here is that even though we're talking about the frame to finish story, we're not just talking residential, we're talking about the commercial side as well. We're not just talking wood, we're talking into metal. Uh, a lot of different innovation we're going to put in the hands of our users, uh, and I'm going to walk you through two ones. One is going to be something that you guys might have seen before, uh, technology that we've been really excited about since 2016. The other one's going to be something that's uh, it's a little bit different. Um, so I'll start over here with our M12 fuel surge. So if you walk over here real quick. So back in 2016, oh sorry. Back in 2016, we brought our surge technology to the masses um, with our M18 fuel product. How many of you guys are familiar with the M18 fuel surge? So the results from that tool have been absolutely fantastic and I appreciate you guys' support throughout the whole, uh, the whole vision there. Um, but you know, even back then we started to hear it, it started to creep up on us. We knew we had to do it in 12 because all the great benefits of that, thinking about in enclosed spaces, in occupied zones, having a tool that's twice as quiet, you know, that's gonna pay off for the maintenance crew, the service HVAC and the service electrician, anyone working in their house with their kids watching SpongeBob next door, right? So, we knew we had to do it. I'm excited to say 2019 is the year we're gonna do it. So, a quick recap on surge technology. You know? All of our impacts before the surge, you know, you had that nice hammer and anvil design. It's always going to get the job done, right? But what we've got here is a nice metal on metal connection. And ooh, does that sound loud? It's going to be much louder. And the other thing that we run into with that situation is it's going to be a lot of peaks and valleys in that torque every time that mechanism hits, right? So what we did, we created a mechanism that's got this hydraulic fluid pulsing within the tool. It's expanding and compressing each time. What that delivers is a nice, smooth, constant, consistent torque at twice as quiet. And when you think about all the benefits of something like that, it's going to put a lot of uh, additional help within our users' hands each and every time. And like I said, excited to put it on 12. So, if there's one thing I want you guys to take, uh, take with you back today on this tool is that we did not compromise one single bit on this tool. When you look at it versus our standard quarter inch M12 fuel impact, you can see the same 5.2 inches in length. It's the exact same weight. We did not have to compromise on size or portability on this tool. Let's talk about power. This tool is going to deliver up to 450 inch-pounds of torque. For those keep kind of keeping track at home, that's the same as the M18 fuel surge right now. We did not have to compromise on power. This thing is going to deliver. And then finally, you're still going to have twice as quiet performance. So for those occupied zones, for those cramped spaces, we're going to deliver that benefit on everyone's ears to the user. And we're extremely excited about it. So let's talk about that and put it to the test. So over here, we've got a nice little computer system set up, and this is going to measure the overall decibel system of each of these tools. Now, I'm not going to have to nerd out on you guys. I've got to, we can do a conference later on the decibel system. But essentially, what's important to understand here is that every 10 decibels a tool goes up, that's twice as loud to the human ear. And incredibly important because OSHA has set a requirement that anything above 85 decibels, you're going to require hearing protection on site. So when we keep all that in mind, first I'm going to run a, a competitive model tool in a subcompact platform, then we'll run the surge. When you take a look at that, you know, we threw a couple of household items on there like a blender or a mower. You can see that's above that 85 decibel level. That's up a co closer to 92 right now. That's not going to be the right solution for those users. And in fact, you're going to need hearing protection on site. So with that in mind, let's run it with the surge. So as you can see, the difference is very important. See, you're down to about 83 decibels on this one right here. Uh, and you can also wi witness for yourself that smooth, consistent torque driving through the tool. 
Now, what we're talking about here, we're not just talking about wood, guys, as I kind of said at the start. We're talking about having uh, different metal solutions as well. So you know that we had to pack this tool with a lot of different nice innovations. One that we added here is our self-tapping screw mode. You know, a lot of our M18 users have come to know and love this because you're not spitting all those fasteners all across the floor when you're working with a self-tapper or a tech screw. So being able to deliver a tool on this compact platform and dry screws with ease. So consistently driving those without spitting the fasteners, you're not digging for more, you're not losing them all day. It's gonna make you more efficient and put innovation into our users' hands. So the last thing we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna move on over here. So when you put yourself in the shoes of a carpenter or a modeler, anyone working within a house, I mean, you guys tell me, do you really wanna be sticking your head in a cabinet all day and running that first tool and driving and using nice cabinet screws all day? Or do you want something that's a lot quieter and is gonna be able to deliver that consistent power? Now, does anybody wanna drive one of these nice cabinet screws into this and tell me which one they prefer? Go ahead. And we've got plenty of time for you guys to kind of get in on the cabinets a little bit later. I know it's a, it's a cramped space, that's by design. <laughs> I like it. That's what we're going for. Um, so guys, at the end of the day, hey, we've got something that's going to be on our, our legendary M12 fuel subcompact line. It's going to deliver that big torque and about twice as quiet. Uh, this is going to be launching in August. We're extremely excited to, uh, to get this out in the market. $199 on the kit, $149 on the bear tool, and uh, we're excited to get that out there. So I'm going to take you through something a little bit different now. So we've been doing a lot of different research over the last couple of years on drilling and driving, a lot of different user groups, a lot of your readers and everyone else out there. And we started to kind of talk about the different frustrations they might be seeing day in and day out. And we started to kind of hear the same kind of issues. A lot of our different groups were saying, hey, I'm losing time and I'm losing money. And it's all coming down to one thing, and that's access. And so we needed to develop something that was going to give unrivaled access and control in our M12 fuel sub, -plat uh, sub uh, platform. And I believe we did that here today. I'm extremely excited to announce the M12 fuel installation drill driver. Now guys, we need to have a conversation about this tool before we really get into it. The first thing I see when I take this out to different user groups, they say, hey, what the heck is this thing? Because it looks a little bit different, right? It's not exactly your tr traditional drill or your impact, right? Uh, and then the next question they get is, hey, Jeff, what is an installation drill driver? And so I'm gonna talk you through those really quickly here because this thing was really uh, designed with a lot of purpose behind it. So the first thing you'll see here is it's got this nice front handle. Uh, what this does is be able to get a lot of our nice electronics into that front handle and give us a nice slim profile of the overall drill. Uh, and additionally, we're able to put this nice magnetic bit holder on the front. So what we've got here is a nice multifunctional handle that's gonna deliver a lot of balance to this tool. So this is about right under two pounds. It's gonna have a nice lateral balance to it. So when you're working overhead all day, you're gonna be able to have that extra control, no matter the fashion. Additionally, with that nice magnetic bit set here on the front, you can put multiple tip types right in your hand. So no longer are you digging through your pocket being like, oh shoot, where's my T25? I need to grab that real quick. Is it in the truck? No, you gotta have your nice here on board and ready to rock. So additionally in this tool, we're able to develop, you know, with all that access, we're gonna need to have a lot of versatility as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pack in four different dedicated heads within this tool, and each one of these will quickly fasten onto this tool in 16 different positions. So being able to lock into each one of these nice and snug and get on with your day, it's gonna provide that versatility on site with that ultimate unrivaled access as well. So, we were talking about this thing, we're saying, hey, you know, what are we going to call it? What are we going to do with this thing? Well, we still went back to the users and we got all this feedback off of them. What we started to hear was a nice common trend. If we were talking to our HVAC users, they were saying, hey, I've got a plumbing team, but I've got an install team as well. And hey, if they're putting in a new system in, a, in an existing structure, hey, there's a lot of wires to be dug in around. Hey, if this is a remodel job, we need to be getting into cramped and awkward spaces. Uh, so we're installing a lot of things, but we're having problems with our, our current solutions today. Talk about a service electrician. They say, hey, I'm worried about damaging different fixtures in a house, uh, and I need to be able to install those fixtures with ease. And we talked to our cabinet guys, our carpenters, our remodelers, and they said, hey, the first time I don't have to take these cabinets back to the shop because I don't have to pre-drill a different hole, or I just can't reach the back of that cabinet the way I'd like to, this thing's gonna pay for itself the first time. It's gonna give them that ultimate access. And so that's where we need to say, hey, this is our installation drill driver, and it's gonna give those solutions to them and give them that ultimate versatility. 
So, if you forgive me, I'm gonna go back over here now. So, we're putting this into place in a lot of different ways, but you know, if we give you guys a couple examples here. So, you know, if you put yourself in the shoes of the, uh, the carpenter, the cabinet maker, hey, you know, if you're working on somebody's house, you wanna make sure that you're hiding those fasteners deep inside the cabinets, so they're unseen, they're not obstructing anything that they're working on in the cabinet. Additionally, if you're a remodeler and you're saying, hey, I need to get this old vanity out of here, uh, you're not going to want to take it a piece uh, board by board, right? You're going to want to be able to get in there with these. So having something like this nice offset adapter packed in. Now for the first time, you can really get into these pesky cabinet screws in the back and work in there a lot more smoothly, a lot more efficiently. Additionally, when you think about someone like our uh, service electrician, and they're saying, hey, you know, I'm working in an occupied space right now. Say I'm in a hospital and I need to get into these fixtures, but I don't want to take everything apart right now. Being able to use something like this offset and for the first time getting into these fasteners without worrying about a spinning chuck or side loading a bit extension and damaging other products within the pool, being able to work on those fasteners with these is going to give them confidence. It's going to save them time. They're going to be on to the next one, right? So that's a lot of the, uh, the, the finish side of this, but let's talk about the install, let's talk about the remodel. You know, something as simple as a lot of you guys I believe have probably seen, like a can light. You know, you might have something today and say, hey, I've got an impact today, that's, that's, that's going to get the job done for everything I encounter. But when you think about it, it's not always going to be the right solution. You know, being able to get into one of these cans, it's going to be extremely frustrating, right? Because you're going to see, hey, I need to make sure I can get in there with ease and adjust the depth or adjust the size of that can. Now for the first time, that same tool that you had on your belt before, if you pair it there, you know, quickly with your right angle adjustment, hey, I can get into this can and be able to adjust those settings and move on to the next one quickly, right? Guys, at the end of the day, this is still an M12 dual product. And what I mean by that is it's going to have the power that our professional users have come to know and love and deliver on those promises. This tool is going to have up to 300 inch pounds of torque. And what we see there is something that's going to be extremely beneficial to each of these groups. So, for example, when you talk about something like a remodel job and say, hey, okay, I'm putting in some different, uh, different things in, the, in a kitchen and I needed to run, you know, just one wire. I need to get in some Romex or something like that. Hey, leave the big drill in the truck. Leave the whole hog in the truck because this is going to be able to perform. So, you know, something as simple as running Romex, you need a 7 8 hole through a stud. Being able to take a tool like this in drill mode, and for the first time, be able to get in there. And power through a stud with ease. Like I said, ultimate versatility with the power that's come to know and love on our M12 fuel platform. So, this is going to be shipping in September. It's going to go with all four of the heads that you've seen here today, which is the right angle, the offset, the quarter inch, and then the chuck. And 229 on the kit and uh, 179 on the bear tools.